Hi everyone, welcome to today's GCSE Higher Revision video. There's 70 days to go into your GCSE Higher Maths exam, so keep up the hard work, you're doing fantastically well going through these videos. And in today's video, we're going to focus on, again, one of my favourite topics, changing the subject. And it's one of my favourite topics because not only do I like changing the subject in terms of a math sense, but in lessons, I would often change the subject and just go off on a tangent, that's another math term, and just talk about other things and just randomly change the subject. Uh, but in this video, we're going to focus on changing the subject, so let's get started. And just also a thing to remember is, if you've got the revision cards, card number 10, changing the subject, it'd be really useful for you as well. Okay, so let's go through changing the subject. Okay, so today we're going to be looking at changing the subject. And here's a typical question. It says, make W the subject of T equals AW subtract C. So when we want to make something the subject, we want to get it on its own. So here we've got T equals AW minus C. So at the minute, T is a subject. It's T is equal to. But we want it to be W equals. We want W to be the subject. So we want to get the W on its own. And we're going to rearrange this in a similar way to how we would solve an equation. So we're going to write T equals AW subtract C. So we want to get the W on its own. So if I want to get the W on its own, the first thing I want to do is I want to get rid of this minus C. So I'm going to add C to both sides. So we're going to add C to the left hand side and we're going to add C to the right hand side. So on the left hand side we had T and we're adding C so it's going to be T plus C. So on the left hand side we've got T plus C and on the right hand side we had minus C. We added C to get rid of it so we're just going to be left with AW. So what we've now got is we've got T plus C equals AW. Now we want the W on its own and this is A multiplied by W. So we don't want this multiplied by A. So we're going to do the inverse operation. We're going to divide both sides by A. So we're going to divide the left hand side by A and we're going to divide the right hand side by A. Now the right hand side is quite nice. We had AW, A times W. We divided by A to get rid of the A so we're just going to be left with W. And on the left hand side we had T plus C. We we're dividing all of that by A so we're going to write T plus C and then all over A. And that's it. So we've made W the subject. W equals T plus C over A. And that's it. So whenever you're asked to make something the subject, you just want to get it on its own. Okay. I just want to show you here. Here's the Code Maps Revision card. And it's got a similar question on the Code Maps Revision card where we've been asked to make W the subject of this. And we've got C equals 4W plus H. Where well, if you want to get the W on its own, the first step is to subtract H from both sides. So you get C subtract H equals 4W. And then we don't want the multiply by 4. So we, and then you divide both sides by 4 and you get the W on its own. And that's equal to C minus H over 4. And that's it. Okay. So here's a question now for you to try yourself. So the question says, make t the subject of v equals u plus at. So can you make t the subject of this? So get the t on its own. So have a think now of how you do this question. Actually press pause and to try it yourself and see if you can get it. Now if we want to make t the subject, the first thing I would want to do is I would want to get rid of this u to begin with. So I'm going to subtract u from the left hand side and subtract u from the right hand side. So if I subtract u from the left hand side, I'd have v subtract u. Now on the right hand side, we had u plus at. We subtracted u to get rid of the u, so we'd just be left with at. So we've got a multiplied by t. Now we want to make t the subject, so that means we want to get the t on its own. So at the minute on the right hand side we've got a multiplied by t, so we're multiplying by a. So we don't want this multiplied by a, so we're going to divide the left hand side by a, and we're going to divide the right hand side by a. So that would give us, on the left hand side, we had v minus u, and we're going to divide all of that by a, so we're going to do v minus u, all divided by a. And on the right hand side we had a multiplied by t, we divided by a to get rid of the multiplied by a, so we're just left with t. So that's it, we've got t equals v subtract u over a, and that's it. Okay, so that's some questions on changing the subject. And those questions are quite useful so far because you might be given a question like that, or you might need to use a skill like that. Perhaps if you're solving nonlinear simultaneous equations, you might want to change the subject and rearrange things. So those skills are quite useful. Now, sometimes you're given a slightly harder change in the subject question, perhaps a bit later on the exam paper. So let's have a look at these more advanced change in the subject questions now. Okay, let's have a look at this question. So we've got make y the subject of w equals y plus 2 over y. So here, this is a bit more complicated than the other ones because we've got two y's. So when you've got something like this, what you want to do is you want to bring all the y's to one side and then if we move out y's to the other side, and then you might be able to factorize it and then just get one y. So let's have a look and see how we would do that. So if I wanted to bring all the y's to one side, the first thing I notice here, I've got a y in the denominator. So I'm going to get rid of this y in the denominator. So I'm going to multiply the left-hand side by y and I'm going to multiply the right-hand side by y. So W times Y would just be WY. That's great, you can just put them together. And then on the right-hand side, we had Y plus 2 divided by Y. We multiply by Y to get rid of the divide by Y, so we're just going to be left with Y plus 2. Okay, so now we've got WY equals Y plus 2. Now what we want to do is we want to bring all the Y's to one side and anything that doesn't have a Y involved, put it on the other side. Now, in this question, you could actually bring all the Y's to the left-hand side and keep all the numbers on the right-hand side, or you could actually bring the Y's to the right-hand side and the numbers to the other side. So you might find with these questions, whenever you're doing it, you might get an answer that's still correct, but in a slightly different format, perhaps with negative signs or positive signs involved, you know, the other way around. So um, whenever you're doing these questions, um, you know, there might be actually more than one correct answer, depending on how you've rearranged it, because it just might be an alternative way of writing 
right? Now, so in this question, I want to bring all the y's to one side. So I'm going to bring all the y's to the left-hand side. So I'm going to get rid of this y on the right-hand side. So I'm going to take away y from both sides. So on the right-hand side, I had y plus 2. I'm taking away the y, so I'm just left with 2 on the right-hand side. I had wy, and I'm taking away y, so I'd have wy subtract y. So I've got all our y's on the left-hand side, and anything without y's on the right-hand side. Okay, now I've just shrunk this a little bit. What we want to do is we want to make y the subject. So we want to get the y on its own. Now if we have a look here, we can actually factorize this left-hand side. We can take y out. So we're going to do y and then brackets. And let's factorize this. If we take the y out, we'll be left with w and then subtract and then 1. So if we factorize w, y, subtract y, y, bracket, w minus 1, close brackets. And that's still equal to 2. So we just factorize this left-hand side. Now we're almost there. We've been asked to get the y on its own. So here we've got y multiplied by something equals 2. So if we divide by this something, this bracket, so we divide both sides by, divide both sides by w minus 1, and divide by w minus 1, that'll give us our answer. So on the left-hand side, we had y multiplied by that bracket. We divided by the bracket, so we're just left with y. Fantastic. On the right-hand side, we've got 2, and we're going to divide it by w minus 1. So I'm going to write that as 2 over w minus 1. And I've just put that w minus 1 on the denominator. And that's it. So I've made y the subject. y equals 2 over w minus 1. And that's it. So this time we've been asked to make w the subject of a brackets 8 minus w close brackets equals 5w plus c. So you want to make w the subject. So we want to get all the w's to one side and everything else to the other. So let's expand our brackets. a times 8 would be 8a. And a times minus w would be minus a w. Just multiplying out the brackets, so expanding the brackets. And that equals 5w plus c. Now we want to bring all the w's to one side and everything else to the other. So I'm actually going to bring all the w's to the right hand side here. So I'm going to add a w and add a w to get rid of this minus a w on the left hand side. So that would leave us on the left hand side where we added a w to get rid of the minus a w. So that would leave us with 8a on the left hand side. And on the right hand side we had 5w plus c and we're adding a w so plus a w. So just putting that a w, that plus a w on the end. Now, if we have a look at it, on the right-hand side, we've got 5w, great. We've got aw, great. But we've got the c. We want to get rid of that on the right-hand side. So let's take away c and take away c. So on the left-hand side, we'd have 8a subtract c. On the right-hand side, we have 5w plus aw because we've just got rid of that with c. Now, we're almost there. We can factorize this right-hand side. If we factorize this right-hand side and take w out, we'd have on the left-hand side, it's still the same, 8a minus c equals and taking out the w factorizing would be w brackets and then 5 plus a close brackets just factorizing this right hand side now we're almost there we want to get the w on its own so let's divide by 5 plus a and divide by 5 plus a because we had w multiplied by 5 plus a if we divide by the 5 plus a we would then just be left with the w on the right hand side so on the left hand side we had 8a minus c and we then divide that by 5 plus a and then on the right hand side we've just got our w and that's it. So W would be equal to 8A minus C over 5 plus A. And that's it. Okay, let's have a look at one last question. So we've got make M the subject of X equals M minus 7 over M plus 2. So feel free to pause this video now and try this question yourself if you want to. Otherwise, in a second, I'm going to go through it. Okay, so we want to get all the m's on one side. Now here we've got m on the denominator. So I'm going to multiply both sides. I don't want this m on the denominator. So I'm going to multiply both sides by m plus 2. Because this is m minus 7 divided by m plus 2. So I'm going to multiply both sides by m plus 2. So I'm going to multiply the left-hand side by m plus 2. And I'm going to multiply the right-hand side by m plus 2. And that gets rid of this divide by m plus 2 on this right-hand side. So on the left-hand side, we had x. We're multiplying it by m plus 2. So we've got x and then just in brackets, m plus 2 close brackets, just putting them together. And on the right-hand side, we had m minus 7 divided by m plus 2. We multiply by m plus 2 to get rid of it, so we've got m minus 7. Now, we want to get all the m's to one side. Well, let's expand our brackets here. Well, x times m would be mx, and then we've got plus, and x times 2 would be 2x, just expanding our brackets, equals m minus 7. Now, we want to get all the m's to one side. Now, we could bring all the m's to the left-hand side, or you could bring all the m's to the right-hand side. It's up to you here. It doesn't actually matter which approach we use. Um, the, the answers may look slightly different, but they will still be equivalent to each other, and they'll still be worth full marks. And you might be able to tweak one of them to get to the other one anyway, if you had to show it was a particular answer. What I'm actually going to do in this question is I'm actually going to bring all the m's to the right-hand side. Um, you could bring them to the left-hand side. It's up to you. So I'm going to bring all the m's to the right-hand side. So I'm going to start off by subtracting mx from both sides. So I'm going to subtract mx from the left-hand side, and I'm going to subtract mx from the right-hand side. So if I subtracted mx from the left-hand side, I'd be left with 2x. And on the right-hand side, I had m subtract 7, and then we've got our subtract mx. 
Now we only want M's on the right hand side, so we don't want this minus seven, so let's add seven to both sides. So add seven and add seven. So on the left hand side, you would have two X plus seven. And on the right hand side, you would have, if you add seven to the minus seven, you get zero. So you're left with M subtract MX. So now we've got all the M's on one side and everything else on the other. Okay, so we've now got that 2x plus 7 equals M minus MX. So we want to make M the subject, so I'm going to now factorize this right-hand side. So I've got 2x plus 7 is equal to, now factorizing this, taking M out, would be M bracket 1 minus X, close brackets. So we've factorized. Now we want the M on its own, so we don't want this multiplied by 1 minus X. So let's divide both sides by 1 minus X and divide by 1 minus X. And if we do that on the left hand side, we get 2x plus 7 over 1 minus x, and that's equal to m. And that's it. So in this question, we asked to make m the subject. So m equals 2x plus 7 over 1 minus x. And that's the version that I've got. If you've done it a slightly different way, you might have got minus 2x minus 7 over x minus 1, and that's still right as well. Okay, and that's it. And that's it. So I hope you find this video useful on changing the subject. And um, if you do want some extra practice, I highly recommend for a topic like changing the subject to look at the practice questions below and to try those practice questions. So keep up the hard work. You're doing fantastically well. The 70 days to go to your GCC Mavs exam. Keep up the hard work and I'm sure you're going to get that grade that you want. Cheers. Bye.